Hey folks, it's Sean. Yeah, I've had a huge response on getting on my video on getting these drill chucks off from these cordless drills. Okay, working on a uh, rigid. Um, takes these batteries, 18 volt. Very common drill, but it doesn't matter what drill you have. They're pretty much um, the procedure is the same. Sometimes the thread pitch is different, but doesn't matter on that part of it. You're going to need yourself a screwdriver or a Allen wrench. And a lot of them have a Torx bit down in here. You know, the star bit. But you reach down in here. I prefer a vise. Get yourself into some old uh, rags and support your, uh, your drill. Now this... The screw that's down in the center of your chuck is going to be left hand. So you turn it the opposite way you'd normally turn a screw. Alright. So pretend like you're going to tighten it up. Yeah. Ah, can't see me. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to turn it. There it came. You're going to turn it like you're going to tighten it up. That's what you're going to do. Hey, okay. you get that screw out of there. Loosen your vise up. And there it is. Okay. And there will be a little bit of Loctite on it. That's normal. Put that in your pocket though. It's on. Okay, you got a stuck drill chuck. It just spins. It won't. It won't release the teeth. The teeth are in there. You can't get the drill chuck off. It just turns. Lock your drill in low gear. Take your battery out. Get yourself an angle grinder. And some safety glasses. You're going to have to make some cuts in here to get this plastic sleeve off. Pair of pliers, just turn it around the other way. Cut the other side, same way. Might have to get a screwdriver or a chisel or something and pry it a bit to get the two halves to separate. <coughs> mm -hmm. You want to get this outer shell out, right? There you go. Got it. And just start chiseling it out. All the pieces and parts. Check your chuck is wrecked, right? So let's just finish wrecking. All right, that's what we're doing here. We're getting all the pieces out, all right? Mm -hmm. Don't need any of this. There we go. So now we're down to that last little bit. And take your channel locks. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. And usually that's what happens. 
there you go guys that's how you get chuck off drill that is stuck and you can't get it off all right like don't hurt your drill you know pat it in your vise don't hurt the collar I, I usually try to use one of these wheels on my angle grinder that is mostly wore out you don't need a long you know just a small diameter be careful you can do it too just don't hit the collar and there you go I always pad my uh, vise with rags when I'm doing this but there's nothing wrong with this drill as you can see works perfect there's nothing wrong with it so now I can put whatever check on there I like and there ain't nothing wrong with my drill alright you can do it too it's okay to take your safety glasses off now <laughs> alright guys love y'all thumbs up that's how you get that check off of a drill that make sure you put it in that uh, drill position on your collar here and low gear if you have transmission make sure it's on one or whatever lowest turning speed you have okay love y'all any questions email me throw it on my comment section alright love y'all bye bye